won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 you a gift. Oh, happy New Year. Oh, danke. All over the place. What a mess. The Christmas tree is still up. Olga, would you do us the pleasure of joining us for tea? I don't have time. I got things to do like you didn't notice. Nein, nein, and don't touch. <laughs> Hmm, do you think it's time to change the New Year's decorations, as they say? It's May out there, after all. Uh, let the tree stay up a bit longer. It'd be a shame to take away such beauty. Ha! <laughs> beauty! <laughs> beauty is when everything is clean. Yeah. Ciao! <laughs> Phenomenal. That's an invention and opening to the future. Do you understand what you were using as a New Year's toy? It would be much better if we didn't know anything ahead of time. How? And you want to say to me that we should voluntarily reject such an enormous amount of knowledge? Yeah, yeah. Everything has its own time. Tell that to your May Christmas tree. Well, Doco, I certainly understand your curiosity. But imagine the following. Imagine that all our modern inventions appeared a thousand years ago. Everyone would become too lazy to think up anything by themselves. But laziness is, after all, the engine of progress. Nine. With such knowledge, laziness would simply kill any progress. We would have everything ready and forget how to think. Such an invent. I'm not even talking about what would happen if this device were to fall into the wrong hands. Nonsense. You and I are civilized beings and we can use the knowledge properly. Let me have this thing, please. I must have it, if even for just a minute. Night, 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 What? Who's there? Greetings, Ancestor. Ancestor? Only Baby can call me that. I am a keeper of time from the distant future. Everyone who lived in the past is our Ancestor. Oh, from the future. So, how's Horsey doing there? Just great. <laughs> the only thing that worries Horsey is that by her own fault, a 
dangerous anachronism came to your time, which could cause temporary paradoxes. Oh, mein Gott. What is this horrible thing? I mean, Spheroscope, my unobservant ancestor. Ah, let it go back to its own time. That would be better. Hmm, yes, here it is very unsafe for it to be located. Paradoxes, wrinkles in time, all of these are very unpleasant, you understand. Say hello to Horsey. I will do, Pin. Huh. I will do. How does he know my name? <laughs> Stop! Give me back my spheroscope! <laughs> Why the masquerade, descendant? I wouldn't have expected this from you. And what on earth is this? With the help of this device, I once tried to find my brothers in arms of knowledge. Hmm, how is this possible? Once I had a firm belief that somewhere else in the universe there was a fellow brother of reason who also had the same desire to contact me. The only thing I needed to do was build a radio telescope and send a signal. But first, I had to choose an appropriate radio frequency for communication. For us, space is silent. But for a radio signal, two types of noise prevent it from amplifying. Atmospheric and galactic. Atmospheric noise is relatively high frequency. So to avoid it, you need to use a frequency less than 10 gigahertz. But galactic noise is just the opposite. It's low frequency, and therefore our frequency has to be higher than 1 gigahertz. Of course, I wanted to send the aliens a video message, or even just an audible greeting. Aliens, you are my... But I decided that the best signal would be Morse code. The only thing to do now is wait. Compression! You wanted to send a signal to other civilizations, so why did you give up? I figured that even if I used the power of all the Earth's electric stations, my signal would still only be heard a distance of no more than ten light years away. Ten light years is a very long distance. Not in relation to the size of the universe. Only a handful of stars are within that distance from us. So you need to perfect your technology and send the signal even further. What if it's all just useless? Maybe our descendants haven't made contact with us. Maybe we really are the only life form in this universe. Let's take the Sphera scope and finally ask it. I need to think about it. It would have been better if Horsey gave me a Christmas tree. What if we really are all alone in the universe? I don't want Doko to have his dreams destroyed. I hope he can forgive me. Thank you, my thoughtful friend. But with my dreams, I'll deal with them myself. Darko! Night! You like a run early in the morning as well? Good <laughs> stuff, eh? Oh, oh, oh. And you, Pin? Bit of exercise? Wait! Stop! Don't be foolish! Ignorance is bliss! Stop this, I say! I'm talking to you, Doggo! At last, 
Now the key to the secrets of the universe is in my hands. Now, how does this thing work? Darko, open up immediately! Don't touch the spheroscope! I'm telling you not to touch it! My request, the date life was discovered in the universe. Nine, cancel request! Don't you dare cancel my request! Request kaput! Request not cancel! Leave request! Don't... Nine, bad Stop. request! Stop ordering me around! Is it showing any images? Look! It's written that scientists of the future debate whether these creatures have any intelligence, but humans gladly accepted them as pets into their home. There it is! The future! What's that? Barry? 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 Barry! Barry! Colleagues, are there any photos left? Yes, yes, there's an enormous quantity. Oh, oh wow. It's so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely creation. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Just think, we hold in our hands a source of all knowledge and civilized achievement. And we're using it to look at photographs of funny house pets. It blows my mind. That's enough! Stop talking! Let's look at some more. Yeah, oh, let's! Oh, there's a video, too. And why not? Let's keep looking! Let's keep looking!